All right, so I'm here at the trash can. Today I'm going to be comparing three caps. They're all off the uh, W400 series of guns. Um, these two here are both conventional caps. This LV4 cap is a uh, not a HVLP, but it's a compliant. So it's compliant with the laws, but doesn't qualify as a HVLP. Um, I just kind of have it here as a basis just to compare the air hole sizes so if we compare the air hole sizes of oh I, sh I should say too this is the old school w400 cap and this is kind of the newer school bellaria but neither of them are compliant and so here in the states you're not really supposed to have them in a shop you can use them for personal projects in your garage or whatever but I'm not supposed to have them that's why I gave the guns away but I figured I'd just do a demonstration anyways. If you look on the LV2 and the BA4-2, the holes are pretty much identical other than the fact that these ones are wider apart. And then you go to the front and uh, the old school LV2 has a set of big holes on the outside and a set of small ones on the inside. Whereas this one, it has four evenly sized holes. I've sprayed extensively with both these caps and I really, really prefer this one for clear coats, for base coats, for everything. It's got a much wider fan, a much tighter pattern on it. I can see why they updated it. So this one is, like I said, compliant but not conventional or HVLP. And I'm bringing it up because I'm going to be comparing all the compliant and HVLP caps later. The air holes on this, Bellaria and the compliant LV4 at the front are pretty much the exact same. You'll notice this has the bigger hole on it for the tulip tip, whereas these just had a regular round tip in them. This one did too, but I actually cut it out because I was dicking around. But normally these would have the same exact tip in them. Now if I compare the air holes to the Bellaria, you can see on the compliant gun they are much bigger. I'll even get that other one in here. So the same size, same size spaced out, much bigger. And you, you know, what that does is it allows for a little lower pressure but a greater volume. So this isn't isn't large enough to be HVLP, but it does have lower pressure and higher volume than these old school caps. So anyways, I'm going to be later I'm going to be comparing this LV4 with the WBX, the LVX and the LPH400 LV4. So that's why I'm bringing it up as a comparison. But there you go. Uh, I, I should also mention that, um, honestly, uh, being a shop and having a booth and, you know, paying for material on a regular basis, this one doesn't chew through material nearly like these do, too. Um, this is a great spraying cap, but it's a fog machine. I mean, half of your, half of your shit's going to end up in the air. Um, if you're doing a complete, it's really easy to get dry spray on the other side of something or if you're trying to do a large surface area. This one I think is kind of the best of both worlds because um, it has a higher transfer efficiency than these two caps do by far, but it's also not so low pressure that it sprays really slow. I've heard it's kind of comparable to uh, um, an RP cap and so is the WBX but we'll get into those later anyways I'm running my freaking mouth let's get on to the next comparison alright guys so I am no longer at the trash can I'm actually in my shop and I'm here with the four air caps I'm actually gonna be reviewing this is the one from last time I have two W400s and two LPH 400s they're all 1.4 tips and before I get into the air caps I'm actually going to show you the difference between the tips um, 
the W has three prongs on it. This is my older one that's a little worn out. Um, you can see the three three prongs on the tulip style tip is what Linus Diwata calls it, I believe it. And then um, the LPH has four cuts in it as opposed to three. Um, I don't know. I'm not an engineer. Hell, I'm not even all that smart. But I think the, the fourth cut gives a little bit more relief for a little bit more airflow. Therefore, um, again, higher volume and lower pressure. Here's the uh, LVX gun. So you can see they're almost identical. One of them just has a third cut. So um, these are the W that have three cuts. These are the LPH that have four cuts. Um, and I don't know exactly why they do that, but the engineers are smarter than me. So these two, I'll start out with the LPH. These two are literally identical other than one thing. We look at these air holes on the side. Now this one's tapered, but it shouldn't affect the gun. It's just some cut lightning cuts is all. The holes there and there are identical. There's no difference in the size or the gap. What is different with the LPH caps is the LV4 has two holes by the nozzle whereas the LVX has four. And that's the only difference I can see. Um, I've sprayed with uh, this one, but not this one yet. And I, I gotta say, I've shot sealer base and clear out of this cap. It's slow. It just doesn't put it on there. I mean, it's really good in the sense that it doesn't fog the place up. It has a very high transfer efficiency. It atomizes at a very low pressure. But it just, even with the 1-4 tip, I, I just... I'm like, come on, let's get after it. It doesn't move like I want. So I'm hoping, and I've read, that this one, because of these extra couple holes, pulls the paint out a little quicker. So we'll see when we actually compare the two. Anyways, on to the W400, which I think I mentioned last time. The W400 is the compliant gun, where these are the, uh, the HVLP guns. Now, comparing these two W400 caps, there's a lot of differences. Um, in fact, they're pretty much entirely different. I don't know if the camera can see it. They both have four holes on the side of uh, the air cap, but the LV4, the holes are a little bit smaller. Um, and then you go to the side the holes on the LV4 are significantly smaller than that on the WBX. Um, so it literally everything's small. The, hole, the holes on the front are smaller and the holes on the side are smaller. In fact this cap has smaller holes than anything else which is funny because since in our last comparison the holes on this were bigger than anything else. and. Here's what I've noticed, and I, um, before I get into that, I've sprayed with this cap. I fucking love it. Uh, pardon my French. This cap is amazing uh, for for clear coats, especially. I mean, sealers, clear coats, maybe not ideal for base, but amazing air cap. I mean, clearing with this is just a pleasure. Haven't tried this one yet, but here's the crossover between all this. This one has way smaller holes than everything else. This one only has two on the side for some reason. But the LVX and the W400 WBX, I've looked these over real close. Holes on the front, identical. Holes on the side, this one has the same relief cuts as the LPH, but really no difference at all. Um, if anything, the holes, on, the top hole is the exact same size. I mean, I don't have perfect eyesight, but I think the WBX, the hole on the back here, might be a couple thousand smaller 
But honestly, I think these are the same cap. I think the the profile of the cap between the WBX and the LVX is the exact same. The only difference is probably going to be the three cuts versus the four cuts that I mentioned earlier. But seriously, these I'll bet you could swap the the caps out on these guns and not even know the difference. The the the, you know, patterns to them are are, are identical if not almost identical but I haven't sprayed either of these in my life so we will tell I have sprayed both of these love this one absolutely love this one not really too hot on this one but another thing um, that got brought up in between this uh, video and the last is uh, I was talking to a painter that uses the Bellaria that which was uh, the one I was that I'm not doing a demonstration on. Uh, he uses the Bellaria, and he brought up the fact that um, over at his shop they use um, Shopline, which is a one-to-one -one paint, and they use medium solids clears and and kind of lower solids sealers. Where as I use um, Axo Nobel, I use a really high solids two to one Euro clear, and then um, I shoot a very, very thick uh, urethane sealer. And my base coat, my base coat is actually um, a two to one base coat. So everything that I shoot in my shop is very thick, very high solids. And he brought up the fact that, well, uh, a traditional gun. You know, even though it doesn't atomize at low pressure, you don't necessarily need a lot of pressure to atomize if if what you're shooting is at um, a lower viscosity. So I've heard it said before, but I'll be the devil's advocate that repeats it. Um, it's got more to do about uh, viscosity than it does what you're spraying. You know, uh, me, because of... Um, shrink back the more reducer you have in something the more is going to evaporate and make it shrink back whereas a high solids sealers base coats clear coats you name it it's not going to breathe as much it's not going to shrink as much material back and so over time what you see is what you get with high solid stuff and i really like that that's why all my guns are one four that's why I really prefer the, the HVLPs and the compliance is because they atomize at a lower pressure and, um, you know, better atomization at lower pressure is, is better suited for high solid stuff, I think. Whereas my experience with shooting high solids clears out of guns like the LV2 and the Bellaria is you have to turn the pressure up so damn high on those guns that it just is a fog machine but like I said you know talking to the painter I used to work with he says oh they're, they're not a fog machine to me and I, so I'm, I'm like well what the hell is going on he says he runs his at 20 psi and I'm like well mine under 25 they wouldn't spray worth a damn but I think the difference is that I'm spraying super thick material and he's spraying the shop line the 630 clear the shop line base coats the shop line sealers they're really thin so keep that in mind my I mean I'm not even I've been at this five years but I'm far from your some of your real seasoned veterans out there but I'm just sharing my perspective at all if it's helpful to anybody but yeah I guess we'll get on to spraying <laughs>